Now recently this video about Ashoka the Great is going around the internet with channels like JBQ and OSR reacting to it and I've noticed one thing in all of them that in the comments people are fighting over it. Some are questioning the video, some are questioning the sources he used, some are calling it a western propaganda and it's consistent throughout. So let's try to understand what's really happening here. Hello guys I'm Nona Prince and I'm a big fan of history, especially Indian history. It's very fascinating to me. There are actually stories which has happened in reality and they've been passed on to generations and it's for us to learn from them understand from them and make our living better that's what i believe i love historical movies historical shows especially which used to come on tv in my childhood i used to watch all of them and most of them used to become generic by the end of it as all daily soaps are but there was one which was my favorite throughout which was chandragup maurya and sadly that show got discontinued but after that i got really intrigued into the mauryan empire from chandragup maurya to bindu sara to ashoka and we even had a show on ashoka recently on colors tv in which again they become generic and the most important part of of his life they rushed it in just 10 episodes and the show was over but when i came across this video it was the first time that i saw someone questioning if ashoka really became good after the kalinga war or not a very critical analysis which i have never seen before so that was really interesting now there are multiple factors to what's happening because the video is kind of theorizing and you know critically analyzing what ashoka was with multiple stories and interpretations out there many people cannot digest that because that's not a thing we are taught in our country from our childhood we are told not to question things and in our country we make our ideals our heroes our politicians our warriors we keep them on that pedestal and if anyone questions that people get angry so you know to have that nuanced debate is out of the picture and that's why most of the films that come on these legends i'm always of a mind that they will never go into a gray area because they are the hero they are worshipped by many you cannot question anything about them and that's actually sad because you'll not get nuanced stories you'll only get a saint version of them but in that aspect ashoka was different because it was very well established that he was not a great guy before the Kalinga war he changed so you know no one could argue that he had a bad side to him but him changing from that to become a good person that's a great narrative that people can change and that's why it spread across so people learn a lesson from it now coming to the issue I'm not a historian to tell you what is right and what is wrong and honestly I always say this you have to take history with a grain of salt because none of us were there to really say what really happened take any event in the recent past we have no idea what really happened how can we assume what happened 2000 years ago is absolutely right what has been spoken about till now famous quote history is written by the winners the stories have been passed on from centuries i say something to my friend the next day he'll say something else so you cannot take any of it 100 percent but there are historians there are people who research who find out things they have multiple sources available to them and from there they derive at one point and that's a lot of work but still it's not 100 percent accurate it is all based on assumptions so you know just to fight over these things may makes no sense and then just because you have been told something from your childhood so you'll only believe in that and if anyone says otherwise or have a different opinion than that they are wrong we have to stop this ideology and when you say it's a propaganda by western media to insult our heroes like come on one video cannot do that we have our ashok's thumb we have the ashok chakra in our flag a video cannot change all of that why should we study history to learn from what has happened before and not to repeat those mistakes again in our lives to make our lives better and i believe the biggest biggest disservice we can do is to judge the people in history because the time was different we have no idea what was going on in that time why they did something which today we feel it's wrong we cannot even imagine that they were there they did something and that's it why did this king kill so many people why did that guy did so many bad things it was their time they did it for us it's just to learn from that and not repeat it honestly no historical figure needs a character certificate from us so let us stop doing that i would say this video is informative you can see the research have gone behind it there are definitely things i don't agree to but that doesn't mean it's wrong or propaganda it's his opinion it's his theories you agree you don't agree you can have a debate in the comments and move on with your lives because honestly this is not going to affect your life so focus on what really matters so guys there's a video i saw a lot of people fighting over this so i thought i wanted to make this video to share my thoughts on it and if I made any sense, do hit the like button, share this video, let me in the comments your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out the videos if you like them too. Do subscribing and I'll see you next time.